I made history, didn't I? Well, you did do that, yeah. <laughs> but if they want to hold me liable because the Senate didn't take it up or the president didn't take it up, that's politics. Breaking news in Washington, D.C. Kevin McCarthy just speaking after being ousted in a historic vote. He says he will not run again for speaker, but it's unclear who will replace California congressman. With that, we welcome you to the Fox 11 News at 5. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Christine Devine. It is the first time a speaker has ever been thrown out by his colleagues. 94% of the Republican conference is behind McCarthy, but a small minority of eight members now in control. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. In a Republican battle on Capitol Hill, Congressman Matt Gates of Florida successfully led the effort to strip Bakersfield's Kevin McCarthy of his gavel. Kevin McCarthy is chaos. I think $33 trillion in debt is chaos. I think that facing a $2.2 trillion annual deficit is chaos. The ousting comes after McCarthy relied on Democrats to pass a bill to keep the government open after his own party failed to unite behind a Republican budget. At the end of the day, Keeping government open and paying our troops was the right decision. I stand by that decision. And at the end of the day, if I have to lose my job over it, so be it. Most Republicans in Congress support McCarthy and are furious at Gates, including North Dakota's Dusty Johnson. The real problems of real Americans will get ignored for weeks while D.C. politicians play middle school games about uh, terrible personal grudges. Democrats say they won't support any Republican for speaker. We're going to be united. We are not going to be involved in that Republican civil war. Robert Garcia represents Long Beach in Congress and tells me that there wasn't any political will for Democrats to save McCarthy's career. We don't appreciate someone that's not going to be truthful, and so there's just no way that we were going to support someone that has shown to not work uh, with us and, and, quite frankly, to advocate for terrible policies. McCarthy saying late tonight he will not seek the speakership again, even though he technically could. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. I hope you realize that every day I did the job, regardless whether you underestimated me or not, I wanted to do it with a smile. So at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll talk to Politico's Melanie Mason about all this. So we talked about this being a possibility, but to witness it is really like, wow. Yeah. Uh, so what's next? Well, uh, they're now out of session, and the House cannot do anything unless they uh, nominate a speaker or put forward a speaker. So apparently, they're not coming back until next week. Tuesday night, the Republicans are supposed to have a private meeting on this, and then Wednesday have a vote for speaker. In the meantime, nothing gets done, and our government is paralyzed. Really big development for the Californian. Yeah.